Hello, I'm Brendan Anderson with KDOL Sports, and we're here at Oracle Arena where the Golden State Warriors won game two against the Portland Trail Blazers, 110 to 81. Tonight, Portland's dynamic guards were shut down for 23 points between Lillard and McCollum. Last game, they scored 75 points. Wow. You know, we played such a great game one, and then we come out here in game two, and we um, gave ourselves a chance to start with, you know, but we didn't we didn't play a great game, you know, to begin with in the first half. Um, and you think you give yourself an opportunity in the third quarter um, to make up some ground. We was only down eight. Uh, but we allowed them to, to create a little bit more distance. And, you know, when a team like them gets going offensively, um, and you're not executing on your offensive end, and it's just going to be it's going to be an uphill battle. And they got away from us, um, and made, we made it hard on ourselves. And even without Kevin Durant tonight, who was out with a strained left calf, the Warriors still had five players in double figures. I mean, it's still good. I mean, obviously, when you miss the MVP, when he's not in there, it changes the dynamic of the team. But they still have a lot of good players. A lot of, a lot of stuff they do is interchangeable for different people to kind of move it out the ball. And, uh, as you can see, I mean, Steph went 6 of 18, Ray went 6 of 18, and he still loses by 20 plus. Yeah, you got to be aggressive. Um, Obviously, you're missing 25 points, 26 points in, out the lineup. So uh, the shots available, you kind of do it a different way. But tonight was one we didn't really get it going much or consistently throughout the game and had some dry spots. But we won the game with our defense tonight. And when you're missing 26 points, that's the best way to put yourself in position to uh, maintain that level of play um, and get wins is with our defensive uh, focus and intensity in, in the first quarter, we really asserted ourselves and that set the tone for the game. It was a weird first half. You know, we went into halftime up nine uh, without uh, Steph and Clay really shooting the ball well. So I thought it was a good sign. Well, they're, they're the best third quarter team in the league. And, uh, you know, you get down nine. And I think uh, I always think a lot of great teams really know how to to turn out the screws in the third quarter and take a 10-point lead or a nine-point lead and get it to uh, 15 or whatever and, and make it a more difficult game. And that's what they did. We didn't, uh, you know, we didn't finish a couple of baskets. They converted right away, and the lead went from, you know, went from nine to 16 pretty quickly. They really worked the ball around. They finished with an, another game with over 30 assists. Draymond led the Warriors with 10 assists and also had 12 rebounds to go with six points. We had guys knocking shots down, you know, and you just try to get them the ball in the position where they're going to be successful, and then they got to do the rest, you know. But one thing we preach is ball movement and player movement, you know, and guys are flying around and cutting. You know, it's whoever, not just myself, but whoever has the ball, it's your job to find them and, you know, try to help them be in a position to get a bucket. Yeah, well, these two games are over with now, so we got to move forward. And past years, those games are totally different and over with as well. So uh, at home, you know, game three, we know the crowd's going to be behind us. We got to take advantage of the home court and protect it like they did. This is Brendan Anderson for KDOL Sports. Thank you for joining me tonight. Where the Warriors take a 2-0 lead going back to Portland. We'll catch you on the rebound.